All right. So, story time. Three years ago tonight, on October 13, 2017, my parents and I went to Andiamo Celebrity Showroom in Warren, Michigan to see Italian tenor Pasquale Esposito. I first heard of him on June 27, 2015, through PBS, this special on Enrico Caruso. And a few months after I first saw that special, I wrote a poem about it, which I later sent to him via email, and he posted it on his Facebook page a couple of days later. So that poem, in more in some ways, led me to having half-price tickets to his show, because on July 21st, sometime around then, 2017, my parents and I were watching Pasquale's special on Caruso again, and mom heard, or we heard that there was a concert coming up in October, and mom said, hey, since you, you wrote the poem that's on Pasquale's page, how about, <laughs> how about you ask him for free tickets to the show? And I'm like, okay, I'll try. So I sent him an email at very politely asking about it and for uh, any chance of having free tickets. And his manager, Samira, emailed me the next day talking about, we can't really do free tickets, but there's a site called goldstar.com where you get half price tickets to certain concerts. And so we, I went into goldstar.com, bought three tickets for 45 bucks. They were like 90 bucks originally, pretty cool deal. And um, so the weeks turned to days. And during that time I had bought tickets and I didn't buy the tickets. I already had the tickets. I printed out poems and uh, Pasquale that I wrote for him. And I finished a drawing that I had put on, oh, on and off for the last two years. And I put them in a manila folder and set them where I could grab them before we left to Andiamo. And I gladly and happily had the folder, so I didn't forget it. We got to Andiamo about an hour before showtime. So Dan and I got pictures in front of the big sign out front. and. Uh, we got back to the car where mom was, and we went into the building where a lady asked uh, if we had tickets. I showed her the proof on my phone via email, extra email from goldstar.com. And so we went inside. A lady let us in, uh, let, it, let us to table 27, where we sat. Uh, we were on the left side of the auditorium, second row of tables. Uh, I, I sat on one side, my parents sat on the other. It was like, here's the table, here's mom and dad, here's me. And there's table 26 behind us. And uh, <laughs> I do remember that because something special happened. <laughs> it was me, table 26 and 27. Uh, after a really loud advertisement for upcoming productions like Sal and uh some stand-up comic in the area, some Elvis tribute show going on, whatever, uh, Pasquale a little mini preview of the special concert came up and it's like, oh, that's much better. I can take my fingers out of my ears now. And Pasquale, uh, the song Il Mondo started. And we were looking around like, where's Pasquale? We hear him singing, but he's not on stage yet. So we look and he's in the middle of the auditorium. Um, there's a staircase in the middle of the auditorium because there's the entrance uh, to the auditorium slash banquet hall. There's the staircase and our table's like right here and this area is the stage. And he's singing there, and he starts making his way toward past the third row of seats. And he can go anywhere. He can turn to his right. He can turn to his left. He turned to his left, and it's like, okay, who's he going to serenade on his way to the stage for the the show tonight? And well, my mind was wanting to calculate which tables he could turn between on the left on his left when he turned right between tables twenty six and twenty seven, looking at me. Oh my word. Well, he shook, stuck out. His, he put out his hand. I put mine. We, we shook hands, and he stopped and he sang the first couple lines of the second verse. Oh my goodness! I can hear Il Mondo playing in my head right now, and it's making me swoon. <laughs> and I just saw the brightest twinkle in his honey brown eyes. And after uh, letting go, he patted my shoulders. He went to the stage, and I was just like, my I could, my cheekbones were hurting from smiling so much. <laughs> And I was just in shock. And the show was spectacular. And uh, after the show, which he had a special guest, Angela Tice from the Michigan Opera Theater in, uh, take part, uh, assist him in, uh, we got to meet him after the show. Where I also got to meet his manager, <laughs> Samira, at the merchandise table. And, and uh, oh man, getting to meet him was so fantastic. We First thing we did was hugged. Oh my word, that hug. I want one. He gives like the best hugs in the world. For those who haven't seen him yet, he gives the best hugs in the world. Ah! <laughs> and we talked about several things. Like I thanked him for being a support uh, in my, um, the worst summers of my life. 
when my dad lost his job and my friend Hayden died and the mom had her health problems in 2016. So I thanked him for that. And uh, after he signed a DVD, he told me that since I told him how much he helped me in 2015 and 2016, he would think of me whenever he was singing the Lord's Prayer, which is one of the songs he ended the show with. I'm amazed I didn't break into tears right there and then because I was close. <laughs> well, we hugged a couple more times. The last time of which I kissed his cheek as we were saying goodbye. I didn't want to leave him. He was such a friend and a helper to me. I didn't want to leave him, but I had to. And so we said goodbye. We got in the car. I cried my eyes out. <laughs> I dried my eyes. Text and messaged him on Instagram saying, like, thank you so much for that awesome concert. Uh, your kindness will never leave my mind and never leave my memory. And you were extremely sweet to fans like me and my parents. And he said, we, and he, and he wrote back a couple hours later, he said, we love you and your family. Good night. And it's like, I want to cry. <laughs> I want to cry again. <sighs> I love Pasquale so much. Well, story time over. <laughs>